Hey, this is Knife Standards. Today I'm going to be doing a first impressions of the Demco 8020.5. This is no ordinary Demco. This is a reblade from Transparent Knives, and I have been trying to get a hold of one of these for a long, long time. I finally have it in hand. I'm super excited about this one, and um, I'm so excited that I already unboxed it <laughs> and I and I didn't film it. Um, I had to get this out of the box and check it out. So we will go over my initial thoughts of this knife, what uh, what makes it special, and we'll talk a little bit about the, the guy behind Transparent Knives as well. Um, so I'll go ahead and set this down. Before we get into everything, please follow me at Knife Standards. You can follow me on Instagram. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for a lot more knife content and weekly knife reviews. All right, so let's get this side and so the knife came in this plastic container from from Demco as you can see and I'm assuming this is what the titanium Demcos come in um, I have another 8020.5 it's like the black um, black rivalry with Aus 10 but it's a uh, DLC coated and that came in actually a really nice pouch so it's interesting that the titanium ones are coming in plastic box but it is what it is and it also came with a few stickers we have a little anime chick we have a cute doggy and we have proudly made in my parents garage which is factual um all of those stickers are very transparent knives <laughs> um are very brian so brian is the guy behind transparent knives he is the one that did the reblade of this 8020.5 and I feel like he's most well known for um, for his Demco 8020.5 reblades although he does uh, other models he does bench made reblades and he is extremely knowledgeable about not only heat treats and you know optimal hardnesses and grinding and finishing but everything that goes into making a knife he he, he's a technician. So um, I know you guys are waiting for me to actually open the knife. So boom, there you go. You guys can check that out while I talk a little bit. <laughs> um, so I messaged back and forth a little bit with Brian. He came by uh, my table at CCKS. He checked out some RR standards. And then um, he also did some uh work on a few rr standard blades for me which was awesome they came out great you guys will be uh, will be seeing those pretty soon he did some blasted blades and some blasts and tumbles on a few of them so they came out amazing so he crushed it really excited for those and um you know he's doing some really technical incredible work on um and look at that really technical incredible work on these reblades and uh, on the heat treat and the finishing it's awesome stuff so definitely check him out if you if you don't know him already or you haven't seen his work you haven't seen his reblades um all of this stuff is, is at transparent knives and um let's go ahead and talk about the actual knife so again demco 80 20.5 i've reviewed a few of these this one is titanium we have this really cool textured um i don't know what do you call that uh, looks kind of like a sewer grate, you know, <laughs> the sewer grate texture. I don't know, but it feels really good. I'm sure there's a technical name for it, but um, feels good. Titanium. Uh, we have, of course, this epic Transparent Knives Reblade. This is in Magna Cut. And what are we going to call that blade shape? Mm, shark's foot, sheep's foot. But you also have this little harpoon action. Wow, with a little thumb ramp feels amazing my thumb fits perfectly in that little groove and the little ramp love it really nice and then of course you have the shark lock super strong lock very fidgety easy to deploy and then um on this guy we're also rocking the opening hole the spidey hole and uh, we'll talk about deployment in just a second centering is perfect now there are a few things on um this knife that, that really make it special and um 
one of those things is the magna cut and the blade so it's it is an incredibly thin hollow ground blade wow yeah crazy crazy thin and of course brian is doing all of this work by himself in the garage you know he's got um his heat treat ovens he's doing the heat treat himself this is heat treated to 65 rockwell so magna cut at 65 is not a common occurrence and that's not something that can be achieved at least yet uh on a production run um this is something that can only be achieved on like a small kind of boutique custom uh either reblade or 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 you know or knife um uh where you know you, you're doing a few blades at a time and you're making sure the heat treat is exactly where you want it 65 rockwell is very uncommon for MagnaCut, his spec, I think, is like 64 to 65, but he ends up clocking a lot of these in at like 64.7, 64.8. And then um, I've seen a bunch of his stuff come out at 65. So again, very exciting that this is at 65. Incredibly thin, hollow grind. And um, the finish on the blade is actually very cool. I don't think I have another blade that's finished like that. It's belt satin, but it also has this kind of light stone wash, this light tumble which just makes me want to use the knife more, you know? So you're not you're not really worried about it getting dinged up or anything. It already has that kind of tumbled, almost, you know, lightly used finish. So I feel like, yeah, you know, this is ready for, for some work. Um, what else? What else are we missing here? Let's go ahead and check some action. Well, let's see. Hold on. Let's, let's see. Rock solid tiny bit of side to side play but i don't know i gotta check my other demco i think i don't know we'll see it doesn't feel like it's yeah no, it feels pretty pretty rock solid just a tiny little bit of side to side um action feels super snappy and smooth it actually feels like a better detent than i don't know if it's a better spring or if Brian tuned the action or what it is or if, you know I don't know actually but it feels better than my other Demco definitely Whew. very smooth very snappy crisp let's go ahead and try the uh, middle finger flick boom works great now when I was first flicking this I realized that um yeah that feels amazing also really nice acoustics I realized that you know a lot of the time when I'm flicking a knife I like to go oh I like to go out um, instead of up and on the Demco reblade with the spidey hole, I actually have to go straight up. So I'll show you guys what I mean. So when I try and go out to the side, which is kind of my go-to, that's what ends up happening. So I have to actually go up kind of diagonal towards the pivot and it works perfectly. So I had to make that adjustment. Not a big deal. I feel like every flicking knife and actually thumb studs too you have to make a little adjustment depending on the detent or where the hole is or whatever but he also does some reblades with you know more like an open like a tapered opening slot he does some with thumb studs and um he is doing uh these i don't know what he, oh yeah like baby <laughs> i think they're called baby shark um baby shark reblades so I think he's taken off part of the handle and then taken off part of the blade. So they're like like mini 80-20.5s, which I think is awesome. They're like the ultimate box cutters. Uh, so I think he's doing a lotto either today or tomorrow. I got to double check on that. But anyway, um, this is an amazing knife. Awesome reblade. Kind of that small boutique custom uh, heat treat custom grinding he's doing all the work himself i think the only thing that he doesn't do which is obvious to me is the uh, water jet or the uh you know the cutting of the blanks which makes sense everything else he is doing literally in his parents garage but yeah anyway definitely follow him at transparent knives extremely knowledgeable keep a lookout for the rr standard um blades that he worked on 
blasted blades and then blast and tumble blades. Very cool. I will get this in pocket today. And I'm really excited to start using this guy. Whew. I've been trying to track one of these down for quite a while. Um, and one more thing, you know, that I do talk about sometimes is more and more I am enjoying the knives when I get to know the person behind the knife. You know, whether it's a message on Instagram or an email or I meet them in person or I talk with them at CCKS or whatever it is. Um, I, I, I'm not going to say who, but I, I've talked with knife makers and, you know, knife people that they're just not pleasant to talk with and they're just not pleasant to message with. And it immediately turns me off from their designs. And that's a bummer because some of those... Uh, situations and some of those instances they're 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 really good designs they're really good knives i'm sure they're amazing makers and and good designers or whatever the case is and because they're not <laughs> pleasant to be around and talk with it just turns me off from their work so that is not the case with this knife um brian was super cool and um took the time to not only uh, do some work on some of our standards for me, but also to teach me a few things. So I really appreciate that. And it makes me want to buy more of his work and spend my money on this stuff because of the person behind the knife and behind the reblade. So again, more and more that's becoming important to me. Um, the person behind the knife, the designer behind the knife, whoever made it, um, whoever designed it, whoever did work on it. Uh, I, I really do, um, appreciate that and that's part of my my you know knife review criteria and that's really where I want to spend my money is on a knife that um, you know I feel good about not only the design and the aesthetic and the quality of the work but I feel good about spending that money uh, you know towards the person who who made it so hopefully that makes sense um, this is an incredible reblade 65 HRC magna cut incredibly perfectly ground. Ooh, insanely thin. I will keep you guys updated on this and I will get it in pocket. Thank you guys for watching. This has been Knife Standards. I'll catch you later.